2014 sure has been a huge year for some of Hollywood's top power couples. But unfortunately, as we reflect on the last 12 months, we're sad to say that not all of our favorite duos made it out together. This is Clever's Best of 2014, but with the best, you also get the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything in between, including the breakups of Hollywood power couples we just can't stop shipping. So right now, my friends, I am breaking down the most shocking and heart-wrenching breakups of 2014. So grab your tissues, because this one's going to be a doozy. Kicking things off with Jelena. Yes, Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez did manage to reunite for some time in 2014, after initially splitting back in 2013. And while everyone in the world seems to have some sort of opinion as to what these two should be doing in their personal lives, to quote SG's new song, the heart wants what it wants. For now, Selena says she's single, but the love between these two is definitely real, with Selena recently telling Ryan Seacrest that, quote, I support him, I think I always will. Up next, we've got a little something something for our barbs. Well, this year marked the end of Nicki Minaj's relationship with Safari Samuels, her longtime assistant, best friend, hype man, and of course, love. This guy was so deep in love. In fact, he even had Nikki tattooed on his body. And I gotta say, if that doesn't say commitment, I really don't know what does. But maybe all good things really do come to an end because the couple reportedly broke up over the summer. And some even say that Nikki's track, Bed of Lies, is an all out slam at her ex man. Or maybe he saw this. <laughs> But Nikki and Safari were not the only couple that went to Splitsville in 2014. Up next is the shocker that was Hilary Duff and her husband, baby daddy and former hockey player Mike Comrie. But here's the thing, guys. Despite the fact that the married loves announced their split in January of 2014, they were just spotted canoodling at a Halloween party. So who knows? Maybe this new year, 2015, will give them the fresh start they needed. Hashtag never give up. But one couple we can probably go ahead and give up on, at least in the romance category that is, is Nikki Reed and her ex-husband, American Idol alum, Paul McDonald. While these two announced that they were closing the door on their marriage in March of 2014, they've still continued to perform music together. But before you start getting your hopes up about a reunion, it's pretty much safe to say that Nikki has moved on and straight into the arms of her vampire babe of a boyfriend, TVD star Ian Somerhalder. And who knows, maybe all that music making was just too much for Nikki and Paul. Who knows, we don't know. And maybe that was the case with our next uber talented former power couple. We've got Katy Perry and John Mayer. Cause do you guys remember when that actually happened? Even though it sort of feels like they broke up 10 years ago, it was in fact just in February of 2014 that they really decided to pull the plug on the courtship. But not to worry, Katie Katz, our girl is doing just fine. She says there's no bad blood, and of course, this has given her lots of song inspiration. And guys, lest we get just too worked up about this, shall I just remind you that we did get an amazing song from them. about a beautiful couple, but that does kind of seem to be the trend in the fab former flame category, especially when we're talking about the man whose abs pretty much deserve their own passport and the woman who's made being a badass just like the coolest thing ever. We have got the surprise couple of the year and a couple might I add we could not get enough of. It's Zac Efron and Michelle Rodriguez. In what for sure was the most shocking hookup of 2014, Zach and Michelle were spotted macking down in Europe for what turned out to just be a sizzling summer fling. They seemed beyond happy, but in the end, they decided to call it quits. But yet again, I gotta say, let's not feel sorry for these two because I think they're both doing just fine. But a couple that doesn't seem to be doing fine well, that's gotta be Rita Ora and Calvin Harris. And I'm not the one starting something here. This is not gossip, I'm just stating the facts. So following their split in June, Rita and Calvin were throwing some under the radar jabs that weren't really under the radar at all. After being together for about a year, the pair decided to end things 
After which Rita told Ryan Seacrest that she couldn't perform the song that she and Calvin had together, I'll Never Let You Down, because Calvin wouldn't sign off on it. Oh, snap. Then, in an unforeseen twist, Calvin jabbed back via Twitter to say this, and I quote, You'll only know one side of the story, re Teen Choice Awards, because I chose not to talk to the papers about every aspect of my personal life, but just know I had a damn good reason. OMG. So I think it's safe to assume that these two are not consciously uncoupling like Gwyneth Paltrow and Chris Martin and then hanging out together all the time and just basically LOLing. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, and P.S. Gwen and Chris said sayonara to marriage in 2014, too. And on the note of the Coldplay frontman, let's talk about Martin Lawrence. You know, Chris Martin and Jennifer Lawrence, duh. Well, apparently these two dated for a bit before calling it quits in 2014. But the breakup that really surprised us came before that, when Jen and her longtime on-again boyfriend, Nicholas Holt, decided to part ways. Oh, well, I guess we'll always have X-Men first class, right? Another thing we'll always have from a couple that called it quits in 2014 is this. I'll say, will you marry me? Yep, Jordan Sparks and Jason Derulo definitely go down in this year's history book as the most shocking breakup of the year, especially since, um, I don't know if you guys caught that, but he wrote a song that was pretty much all about her called Marry Me, so there's that. A few couples who ended marriages in 2014 include Robin Thicke and Paula Patton, who were a couple for over 20 years, Amber Rose and Wiz Khalifa, Chris and Bruce Jenner, and lastly, we've got Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon, another man on the list who might have been rethinking his tattoo. Nick went ahead and made the split with Mariah crystal clear when he revealed the tattoo he had of Mariah's name on his back is now a massive crucifix. And guys, even the young Hollywood world is not safe from the sadness of moving on. Just weeks after Fifth Harmony singer Camila Cabello went on the record to say that yes, she and superstar Austin Mahone were a couple, she told a radio host that they were no longer together. But not to worry, we're still holding out hope for these two. Joe Jonas and his longtime love, Blonda Eggenschweiler, mutually decided to part ways in the summer of 2014. Definitely not a messy split though, and another friendly breakup came when Cody Simpson and his gorgeous budding supermodel of a girlfriend, Gigi Hadid, parted ways romantically. But guys, the hope is real when it comes to these two. Although Cody said that yes, he is single now, he called Gigi his best friend and noted that he's sure things will rekindle one day. Gigi has a really good outlook too. The model said that Cody was the one to break up with her, but she added, quote, we're still best friends and I'll always respect him and support his career too sweet. Unfortunately for another star that we absolutely love, Sarah Hyland, breaking up was very hard to do. After dating fellow actor Matt Prokop for five years, a clean break was hard to come by and Sarah ultimately filed a restraining order, citing that Matt had been physically and verbally abusive to her. But you guys, the great news is that with all of this behind Sarah, she is doing great. Just as great as Ariana Grande is doing these days. No one is having a year as incredible as this girl. But even having the hottest career in music cannot save you from the woes of relationship drama. Ariana and her back on beau Australian YouTuber Jay Brooks broke up in July. And based on some underlying hints from Ari's tweet about what went down in her life during that month, we can really only guess that she and her ex split up after he wasn't really there for her after her grandfather's death. But before you get to feeling too sad about this, let's move on to our most shocking breakup of 2014 because then this whole thing is about to come full circle on y'all. So the world did not see it coming when engaged couple Naya Rivera and Big Sean called off their wedding amidst some big rumor drama. From our perspective, at least for mine, these two could not have appeared to be more in love. But after Sean called off the big blessed event, some say it was Naya's supposed jealousy of his relationship with Ariana Grande that ignited the tension between them in the first place. And FYI, Ari and Sean have collaborated a ton in the past on music. Regardless, Big Sean's rep released a statement saying that he wished his ex, Naya, nothing but the best. And well, that is exactly what this girl got, the best, 
because she married Ryan Dorsey just a few months later on the same exact date that some say was the date intended for Naya and Sean's wedding. But now let's go ahead and just go full circle because Sean is now dating Ariana Grande. And yes, I think it's safe to say that all is fair and love and war. And even though, let's face it, breakups totally suck, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. So hopefully you all can sleep well tonight with this shocking breakup knowledge behind you. We're wishing all of these fabulous people nothing but the best in life and in love, and we want to hear from all of you guys. I want to know, which breakup were you legitimately the most shocked by? Because personally, there are a few of these that I still find it hard to believe. And you can click here to check out an awesome video with our friends from R5. We teamed up with the band to pull off an awesome prank on their super fans, all as a part of Prank It Forward. And you guys, don't forget to subscribe.